Today, I'm going to talk about macro organization. And it might be a term that you have never heard before, but today I will be talking about how I use macro organizing in my home. It's Kristen and welcome to the gold project if you are new here welcome We hope you decide to become a part of our community by clicking that red subscribe button below Also hit that bell notification so you are informed every time I post videos I post videos at least three times a week Monday Wednesday and Friday and on this channel We have a mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together So I hope you decide to click that red subscribe button and to become a part of our community and our mission so this has been a video that I've wanted to share for some time, but just have not gotten around to doing it. Macro organization. There is a difference between micro and macro organization, just like economics. So macro organization is big picture organizing. This means that you may organize a space, but it's not organized down to the specific category. For instance, you could get all of the hair care products in one drawer, but the drawer is not organized. So I'm going to share with you the macro organizing that I do in my household. So it may come as a surprise that not every single category in my house is organized. It might be in one location, but within that one location, it's not organized at all. So basically, I have decided that if I can get these items into one specific place, I do not care if that one specific place is organized down to the nitty gritty. So, what areas in my house are macro organized? The first thing are my socks. I have tried to micro organize my socks to where I match them up and put them together. Sometimes I would like fold them into themselves. Sometimes I would just fold them in half and I would stick them in my drawer. You guys, I just can't keep up with that. So if I can get all of the socks cleaned and placed in my drawer, I'm doing good. I'm not gonna spend time going through the drawer and matching socks. Now, periodically, Probably every season I will dump all of the socks out and I will match them and I'll put the ones that don't have a match to the side and then those get, if they don't have a match, you can't donate them. So I will put them in the recycling bin. Or if what can you do with an individual sock? Now I've heard some people say that they dust with them. I've never done that before. So if you have one sock, Tell me in the comments below, what do you do with that one sock? Maybe I should be keeping some of these socks. But that's the first thing that is macro organized in my house. The second and third thing, and I'm doing the second and third thing because they're in the same drawer, and that is my underwear and my tank tops. These things share a drawer. And that's why I'm talking about them together. So you guys, my tank tops, I Sometimes I'll fold them, sometimes I don't. It doesn't really matter if they're wrinkled or not because they go underneath my clothes and you're not gonna see them anyways. So I put them, if they can get to the drawer, they're good. Sometimes I might fold them, a lot of the times I don't fold them and I just place them in the drawer. I'm okay with that. Now my underwear. A lot of people don't like to share their underwear on camera. I don't really care. It's We all wear it. It's not that big of a deal. I would lay my panties, like spread them out and lay them one on top of the other. But here's what happens when I usually do that. I realize that the panties I want to wear are like towards the bottom of the stack. So when I pull them out, it just throws them all over the drawer anyway. So if I can get them in the drawer to the left side of the drawer, I'm doing good. Once again, just like the tank tops and just like the socks. You guys, people are not going to see my panties or my underwear. So does it really matter if it's wrinkled? I don't think so. It does not bother me. The fourth area that is macro organized in my house are my wash rags. Now here's the thing. I was folding them and you can tell as I'm pulling this out, the bottom ones are folded because I think my husband folded those and then the ones on the top are just thrown in there because that is what I did. 
Sometimes I will fold them, sometimes I won't. As long as they get placed into the basket in the bathroom, we're doing good. Does it really matter if they're wrinkled? They're just gonna be cleaning your body anyways. So if I can get them in the bin that they go in, we're doing good. Sometimes I will fold them, a lot of times I won't. Moving on to the kitchen, we're actually gonna go into the pantry. My fifth area is my Tupperware or plasticware. I guess that's what you would call it. The storage containers that are plastic. I have two bins in my pantry. One of them is for the lids and the other one is for the bottoms. You guys, if I get them in the two bins, they're doing good. I don't have to have them stacked up all nicely and like go with their matching parts. If they go in the bin in the pantry, I'm doing good. So that is a goal. If I get them in the pantry and I get them into the bin that they're supposed to go in, bottoms in one bin, lids in the other, then I'm doing good. That's as organized as I feel that they need to be. Next, we're gonna talk about area six is toys. You guys, I have struggled <laughs> with this nonstop. I have tried to micro-organize toys in my house. All of the big stuffed animals and big things are just placed in a tub in the office. I have tried to organize them by type, but Derek comes back through there and pulls out what he wants and places it back in there. So I have come to the conclusion that if all of the larger toys get placed in that bucket, I'm good. The seventh and final area that I'm going to talk about is in the kitchen and we're gonna go into the refrigerator. You guys, I have seen people nonstop on like Pinterest and Instagram have these beautiful refrigerators. Everything is organized, it looks nice on the inside, they've got all of their fruits together, they've got all their condiments together, all of their large like milks and juices together, they've got all these individual um, storage pieces in their refrigerator. I have tried it and it just does not work for us. So if we get the refrigerated food put in the refrigerator, I'm good to go. Now we do have it sectioned out to where meat and cheese go in one drawer, then Lunchables go in another drawer, but that could vary. One, one drawer might be for Lunchables this week and next week it might be another drawer. Our goal is to get all the stuff that's cold into the refrigerator. Where it goes in the refrigerator is not that big of a deal to us. I just can't maintain that. I've tried to do that and I just can't do it so I'm not gonna stress about it. So refrigerated food is the seventh category that is macro organized in my house. So those are the seven areas in my house that are macro organized. So I'm sharing this video with you today to let you know that not every single item in my house is organized to a T. There are areas that are big picture organized, like my panties, like my tank tops, like my socks. And as long as I get them in one area, they don't have to be organized into every little piece. So I would love it in the comments below if you would share with us what areas in your house are macro organized. Let's get a conversation going and let's help each other. I hope this has helped you feel like that you're not the only person that is not organized all around. We find an organization style that works for us. Our organization style may not match somebody else's and that's okay. Everybody's different. Every household is different. You choose what works best for you. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you give this video a big thumbs up by giving my videos a thumbs up. It shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content and they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button and become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. So you guys, I hope you have a fantastic week and until next time. Bye, you guys.